So let's move on to the next module in our Explorer, which is the Portfolio Manager. Now, having analyzed a symbol and having created a trading system and saved it as a chart template, you will get buy and sell signals and when you execute it, you can track your performance also in a Portfolio Manager, which is included in the Fibber Trader. As a remark, Portfolio Manager will not send those buy and sell orders to your bank directly. You, read, you will have to do this manually, but it will um, do everything else you need and it will assist you with tracking also a paper trading portfolio. If you don't have a bank account and you just want to see how you would have traded, you can enter your transactions and you can really train and um, learn through the Fibber Trader and you can prepare yourself for the real case. So let's take a look at the portfolio management and um, let's open the module here. We create a new portfolio. We can have any number of portfolios which you want to. So, okay, let's call it paper trade portfolio. We can add uh, any number, one, two, three, four, five. We can select a currency. It's just, this is just for display purposes. We can add new currencies as we wish. And we can add a commission model. We looked at commission models before. Um, so you can easily calculate the costs for your buy and sell orders. And the Fibber Trader will do this for you. You can create an owner. So this is um, simply statistical values. So you can have, you can attach your name to the portfolio. So let's do this real quick. We have this address management. And um, let's say you called um, Mr. Fibber Trader, live in the USA. Okay, we can have some additional information, some website. Okay, click OK, and there we have the address, Fibber Trader, selected here. We can have a bank. Let's create a bank where we are, work, where we are trading with, and the bank is called, let's say, My Bank, also located in the USA. Click OK, and there we are. We have these values. We don't need to enter them actually, but um, it's quite nice to have them. Okay. And there's our portfolio manager. Now it will open a little transaction list here. And what we can see is um, we have four tabs up here, a little menu bar and a little status bar. Let's go by them one by one. And first of all, we see we have a balance of 100,000 euros already. So where does this come from? And this is something which the portfolio assistant did for you. So when you create a new portfolio, it will book in some money so you can actually buy and sell something. And when we go to transactions, we see there's a remittance order of 100,000 dated back one month. So this is just a suggested value. Of course, this has nothing to do with your real portfolio, but if you have a play portfolio, you can just leave it at 100,000. If you have a real portfolio, you can edit it. And editing is very simple. You simply double click on it and then you have your remittance order. You can add or subtract values from your account. We entered 100,000. Let's say we start with 50,000 on the same date. Um, subject line and um, this is what the assistant already wrote in here. It's the automatic, automatic initial transaction. Click OK and we decreased our account to 50,000 start value and now we can actually start trading. So to start trading, we go to the portfolio menu up here and then we have the new transaction menu item. We select buy and sell stock and there we go. We have uh, several options here so we can either open a position or close a position. It's the first thing we have to decide so we open a position and we want to go long you can also go short if you want to. Um, and now if you want to buy, let's say we want to buy 3M. There we go. We select 3M. And now magically the Fibber Trader will fill in numbers here. So we see it will suggest we should buy 81 stocks at 91.29, which is the current price. And this will result in an investment of 7,000 euros. We will have to pay 23 commission, so in the end we have to pay or invest 7,417 euros to enter this transaction. If you want to 
buy at a different price or just have historical prices, we can also go back, we say 12th of May, we click on the little price icon, it will load the price, it was 96, 965 at this time, um, and it will just adjust everything automatically. Now I will accept um, these numbers for now, but I will explain later on where these actually come from. There is a money management system in the portfolio manager and um, I will show you shortly how this looks like in just a while. So if you want to have some extended information, we, go, we can go to the extended tab. We can say, okay, this is a pending transaction or confirmed or it has been canceled just for um, status purposes. We can have a clearing date and we can have something which I personally think is very valuable for starting traders and also for professional ones. Um, you can document your trade so you can say, okay, I bought because I thought this and this and this reason applies, therefore I should buy or sell. And now when you enter a little description every time, then you have a record of what your thoughts were and you can replay them in your mind, you can find mistakes and you can really learn from this and um, get much more experience. So we click OK and then if you want to buy another stock, we click OK Next and it will simply clear the mask for us, the entry fields. And if you click OK, click OK and Close, it will create the transaction and, um, and let me move our windows a little better. So Now here in the portfolio manager we have an remittance order and then we have an open position of 3M. Along the same things as we just entered. And if you open 3M now here in our little chart, let me do this, 3M, there we are. So we bought somewhere here in the top area and if you want to change it, we simply double click on the position and we select the current date, let's select today, price, okay, close, and it's adjusted. In the bottom we see what we still have, um, what cash we still have to invest, what the value of our current portfolio is, so we see um, we had to pay fees and these fees are automatically deducted here, so we have two times around 23 euros fees, so this is our current loss if you would sell this position right now. We see there are two transactions overall and one is open, one, and this is the open position for 3M. We can select and we can filter for status up here for the pending or cancelled ones. Since we don't have pending or cancelled transactions, they empty the lists. Now, let's say we uh, go to the current view because there we can see the summary of all the open positions we have and we see there is now a break even calculated and we see we bought at 91.30 and if we want to get out of the deal with zero loss so we would need to make up for the 46 euros in commissions we would have to sell at 91.87 then we would go out, go out of the deal with no loss at all and everything which is above 91.87 is profit for us. And if the prices change, and I think they will change now as we talk about the little features, the, uh, as we talk about all the other features which we have in here, then we will see also the profit increase or decrease accordingly. Now some quite nice trackers which we can use for ourselves is um, to set a stop and the profit target. So let's say we want to sell the position, we look here, if it drops below 89, let's enter 89 in here, okay, and we see it will automatically display a uh, 89 stop sign here, right inside of the chart, and if you enter a profit target, let's say we want to sell at 97 or 96, 96 looks like a good value to me, okay, <laughs> activate it, and then we have 96 up here, and we can quickly see, without having the portfolio manager open even, where our current stops and profit targets are for our open positions. 
if we are in the chart, let's say we go take this to the front and we want to adjust our stop, we can also drag this box. So we can go and drag our stop, let's say to 97, 988 or something like this and it will automatically be adjusted here in the portfolio and also the other way around. If you change it here to, let's say, 86, it will be adjusted here in the chart. So you can, you can use either way you want, same with the profit target, and you're up and running. You can hide it simply by clicking here, and um, that's basically it. Now, I wanted to show you where the magic numbers come from, from which we saw in the buy dialog, and there from the money management. So if you go to tools, there we have the money management and what we can see is we can really specify what the system should buy or sell. And we can set the size of a position. So the size is calculated in percent. So we can say we want to invest 15% of our total portfolio value. So it took the 50,000 as a starting point, 15% of that but it should be at least 300 euro. So if it's below 300 euro, it doesn't make sense because commissions are just too high in our example. But at maximum, we could specify like 2,000 euro. So it would not have bought for 7,000, but for 2,000, it would have adjusted the number of stocks accordingly. Then we can, if we have a broker which can buy shares in packages, like in packages of 10, we can say, okay, we only want to buy shares in packages of 10, which means by 10, 20, 30, or 40 shares at a time, not 43, 44, 45. Let's leave it at one. We can say maximum number of shares is like 100. We want to have a cash reserve here. Currently, this is 5%, so it would be 2,500 euros. But we can also specify boundary values again, as here with the, with the position size. So we can have a minimum and maximum size of our money reserve. And we can say, okay, our minimum portfolio value should be like 20,000 euros. Otherwise, we do not enter any new positions. So this is a restriction. And we can say we want to have a maximum of five or 10 positions open at one time. So this is what you can do in the money management, very powerful, and it will create really quick recommendations for you and do the calculations automatically.